हेलो गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे इन आर सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ यूनिट टू विल कवर द टॉपिक ऑफ डेटा समराइजेशन दोज हैव हैव वॉच द फर्स्ट वन वेयर वी हैव कवर्ड द डेटा प्रेपरेशन एंड डेटा क्लीनिंग प्रोसेस मस्ट विजिट द फर्स्ट वन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस दिस टॉपिक डेट ऑफ डेटा समराइजेशन सॉरी data summarization is basically the process of transforming a given large data set into the smaller form usually presentable for reporting analysis or further examination data summarization uh, by its name it is clear that if we have given uh, if we have given a data set uh, and we have to provide a relevant conclusion so this process is the data summarization it, uh, it may include reporting analysis or examination it involves extract extracting the central insights as we make the summary of any uh, chapter or any unit it involves that central insight and the patterns form from the data without losing the vital information it allows a quick reala realization of overview of the structure few general insights and data set hence facilitate further analysis and interference so there are some key techniques of uh, data summarization uh, these includes different categories like descriptive statistics measures measures of dispersion percentiles or quartiles data aggregation data grouping visualization dimensional reduction summarization and data profiling so we'll study each in one uh, this uh, in in detail first is the descriptive analysis as we all know the measures of ten central tendency mean median mode uh, like that summarize data using mean median mode which describe the middle of the distribution central tendency as we all know that descriptive analysis provides us with a number which represents the data represents the whole data second is the measure of dispersion dispersion as we know that uh, once we find the central tendency of the data we uh, we have to see how much it is dis dispersed or it is spread out so it's uh, it's find found out after by by using dispersion measures dispersion or variability in data like range variance standard deviation third is the percentiles or quartiles technique former provides the insights to distribution by telling about the relative standing of the data points where it is standing like percentiles then tell about the 10 100 parts of the data are there so last percentile would be the 99th percentile quartiles mean distributing data set into four parts and there will be three quartiles q1 q2 and q3 as we have all studies in studied in business stats fourth is data aggregation this would involve combining many data points into summary value for example addition of sales data month data by month or average score of different categories okay so next is data grouping grouping into categories or segments or summarization of each group is in isolation this can be used by various techniques like pivot tables which summarize data based on different dimensions pivot tables also discussed in first video next is visualization charts and graphs setting up trends distribution of data with bar charts histogram pie charts or line graphs box plot can be visualized distribution central value variability of data and possible outliers as we discussed in earlier video first video of the unit 2 as well how to how we plot box plots in our excel so that we can identify our outlier value this can be box plots can also be used in distribution visual distribution central value and variability of data to identify and know about uh, these three aspect these four, three to four aspects of the data next is the dimensionality reduction the techniques like pca tnnc reduce the number of variables in data set by keeping it as much possible in possible of variability of data while summarizing into lower dimensions summarization Th those are method for summarizing large documents or data set such as rapid keyword extraction topic modeling or abstract generation data profiling it is 
contains the information about structure of data set, count of missing values, data types or distribution of categorical variables. So why do we need to summarize data? These were the techniques of summarizing the data. Now, why do we need to summarize our data? Number one, it to simplify the analysis. As we all know, we are doing data analysis. So as simplified it would, it would be easier for us. Summarization makes the analysis and interpretation of large data easy. So it, so it helps to quickly identify the pattern and trends. Second is to facilitate the decision making. After data, uh, data analysis, we have to decide we have to make decision so it facilitates our decision making this summarizes this summaries represent data in such a way that they become helpful in supporting stakeholders for making the certain decisions third is for reporting since summaries of data are used in most of the reports dashboards and presentation for effective communication in other words data summarization reduces the complex data set into major parts so that the understanding and action by analysis stakeholder and decision maker is enabled with such information next is data sorting it helps the user to organize data in specific order you can sort the text to column in alphabetical order we can sort numerical data from largest to smallest smallest to largest we can also sort date and time oldest to newest newest to oldest in this section we'll see how data can be sorted using ms excel Sorting a column in descending order. This is the shortcut key for short sorting data. Control Shift plus L. Click on the down arrow and from largest to smallest, there is option. Click on that. So this is the simple. As we have all used sorting and uh, filter in Excel. It's very easy. These are the steps. You can follow this to know in the Excel also. Next is filtering of data. Filters are temporary, used to temporarily hide some data in data step. This user this helps user to focus on data that is important for the current task in hand. So filter uh, filtering ka these are the steps. This is the sort and filter option in the data uh, tab of the Excel. From here we can select the filter option uh, and uh, this kind of arrow will appear on our data set. In text data, uncheck the values you want to see as shown in the figure below. Here is the figure. So here comes this arrow when we apply the filter option. Here we can sort it by any uh, criteria. So for filtering data on numeric values, this was on this was on what text data. Yeah. On numeric value, we can say uh between us and it, to the range uh, as we do in conditional formatting uh, uh, we'll do in in further videos what is conditional formatting and all that this is on uh, numeric data like items one two three four five six same same sort filter options are there but these their here number of filters have increased because we can now uh, use various options on our numeric data so this is it for numeric data.